fun seekers, we're coming to you today from Meadows of the Dan, right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia. We're standing right outside of the Poor Farmers Market. We decided to come in here and check out the store today, see what all they have. And I hear that they have some food. We're even going to get a little sandwich and have lunch here today. So y'all come along and join us as we go inside and check out the Poor Farmers Market. Let's go check this place out. Let's do it. Welcome to the Poor Farmers Market, the old fashioned country store. This is located in Meadows of Dan, Virginia. It's just right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So we decided we would stop, check out this store, see what all they have. And we'll probably grab us a little something for lunch here. As you pull in off the highway to the Poor Farmers Market, you'll notice it has some gas pumps, have all kind of produce items outside for sale. They have pumpkins. They have mums. I see fresh produce up under the porch. You'll notice they have all these pumpkins. I love this old style bathtub. Got some mums in it. Old clawfoot bathtub. More pumpkins. Now let's show you what all they have. See the mums. They have pumpkins. You have the smaller size pumpkins. Even have white pumpkins. Some Indian corn. Cabbage. All kind of produce, the tomatoes, turnips, sweet potatoes, russet potatoes. Peppers. And we'll have onions. The corn, squash, cucumbers. Different types of fruit, plums, nectarines, oranges, lemons. I love these old wooden barrels. They also have local apples, golden delicious. They have some wine saps, Granny Smith's. And here are the prices. You can get them by the pound, a half a pack, a pack, or a bushel box. They also have the Pink Lady, Gold Rush, and sweet potatoes. White sweet potatoes and more sweet potatoes over here. They sell case knives here also. These are made in the USA. Now let's go inside the store and see what it looks like on the inside. As soon as you walk in, you notice it has some cheese here for sale. Here are some of the case knives they got, and they've got a pile of them. Anybody that collects knives, they have a large selection of them. In the back, you'll notice they have the medicine man. Might have to see if we can find a dollar and put it inside of it and see what he has to say today. We went and got a dollar bill. We're going to we're going to try out the medicine man and see what he has to say today. Cindy's putting the money in now. Take advice from medicine man. Listen with ears, or tongue will make you deaf to wisdom. I guess that's some good advice, medicine man. It is good advice. You have two ears, you can listen twice as much as your one tongue and talk. As you walk into the main store, this is what it looks like. First thing I noticed they had was some Foothill Sugar Cured Country Ham. And you love country ham. Yes, I do. And also they have different types of other meat that you would use for seasoning to cook with. 
And they also even have bones that you can take home for your dogs. This is for a dog treat. And that country ham, that sure does look good. You also notice they have a lot of your, the old hard candies. And they have these in these barrels. They also have a lot of your, your bulk candies that they package themselves. And they also have a large selection of the Virginia Down peanuts. They do have a nice selection of those Virginia Down peanuts. And they have them in the big cans and the regular size cans as well. I see some spicy habanero. I'm sure you will love those. I'm sure. <laughs> and over here you'll notice they have a, a large selection of your jams and jellies. Let's look all see what all they have. There's a pepper jelly, a moonshine jelly. Look here, Cindy. There is a Southern Sweet Tea Jelly. Oh, my goodness. I have never seen that before. You know who would like that? Yeah, Carly would love that. She's a sweet tea lover. Yes, she is. And I don't think I've ever seen that kind either. And I think she might like that on her toast. A five pepper jelly. Some spiced pumpkin butter. Toe jam. Have you ever heard of toe jam before? And that's tangerine and elderberry. That's what's a toe jam. Here's That's a, what the T-O-E is for. An apple cinnamon pecan jam. I bet that would be good. Oh, I bet it would be too. Traffic jam. That's some bear jam. Blueberry, elderberry, apple, and raspberry. Frog jam. Caramel apple. And then we come over here and you find some chow chow, sweet pepper relish, salsa. All kinds of goodies. Sure do. And also down the bottom, you'll notice they have a lot of your beans and lima beans, navy beans, pintos. David, have you ever seen beans displayed like this before in a store? I have not, to be honest with you, Cindy. And I've been in a lot of stores. They also have the Salwood Blue Ridge Mountain Honey. And speaking of the beans, as we turn around, you'll notice there's even more selection of beans. Yeah, I think this must really be old school. Neither one of us have seen it before. And they just have different varieties, a yellow be eye bean, black beans, baby lima, cranberry October, black eye peas, red kidney beans, and the colored butter beans. And as we come up this aisle, you'll notice they have flour, cornmeal, and these bags, this looks like an old school, like a local type meal. That's what I was thinking too, Dave. And I noticed on the bag, it says Cherokee. This is stone ground white grits, manufactured in by King Milling Company, King, North Carolina. So that's probably just across the line, not too far away from us. And the flower says, Boonville Milling Company, Boonville, North Carolina. So, North Carolina is not too far from where we're at right now, so it's probably pretty local. And over here on this side, you'll notice they have more items of your bulk candies. They have uh, pancake mixes, some cookie mixes, even have some beef jerky. Straight ahead on this cabinet, you'll notice they have a lot of your flavorings. And we'll, that's something that you don't see a lot of anymore at that brand. I'm glad to see that they carry that in this old country store. And look at here, Cindy. The old hoop cheese. Hoop, there it is. Hoop, there it is. And I guess this is what they use to slice it with. See the mm -hmm. built on to the... Yes. They put the block of cheese right on that board and then they will slice it into your wedges. Like that. That's the black kind, and uh, they also have it in the red. And this sign tells you the difference in the two. The red is the mild, the black is the sharp. And we would definitely want to get the black, wouldn't we? Definitely. We love a good sharp cheese. And talking about these flavorings, let's take a closer look at them. And they have a, a large selection. You got peppermint, orange, lemon, vanilla, cinnamon, coconut. Coming on up, you got butter and nut, banana, pineapple, strawberry, rum, 
They even have it in food coloring. They have black walnut. And you had mentioned, these are hard to find nowadays. They are. They also have some different types of t-shirts. And socks, stocking hats. They also sell the large brand cast iron cookware. They have a large selection of that in here on sale. And straight ahead, you'll notice they have hot sauces. I see some Jake and Amos brands on the bottom. This is very popular up in the Amish country. They also have this locally Amish made goods. They have jellies and jams. Just your typical varieties that you would see in an Amish store. Also have chow chow. And as you walk into this section of the store, you notice they have a lot of wind chimes, different types of books. And as we walk along, I see they have a, a section of cookbooks, different types. But it'd be some interesting recipes in some of these. They also have the Farmer's Almanac for 2025 walking sticks and back here you notice they have these crocs up on the top shelf and they have all kind of cool decorations hung up throughout this country store they have the store decorated up very nicely even have old gobbler turkey on display Here's some more of your flowers, gravy mixes, soup mixes, just different types of items. Now this is the sandwich shop area. This is where they fix your food at. You walk up to the counter, place your order, and then they'll prepare it. I'm gonna show you what all they have. They have some muffins, brownies, Fried apple pies, they sure do look good. I never heard of a possum pie before. They got banana pudding, pumpkin pie, dirt pudding, coconut cream pie. And here are some of the items that you can get on your sandwiches. Potato salad, they have tuna salad, chicken salad, a seafood salad, chicken fried rice, baked beans, and an egg salad. Now let's take a look at the menu for the Poor Farmer Sandwich and Specialty Shop. This is the telephone number and the store hours. It's located at the Meadows of Dan, Virginia. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look. For my food today, I decided to try the chicken salad sandwich. I got lettuce and tomato. And this chicken salad, I escalated. This is homemade, so this is made in-house. And I got a small potato salad. And the potato salad also looks to, appears to be homemade as well. Everything certainly does look good. We'll try it and let you know what we think. I got what I think it's called the hillbilly sandwich or something like that. It's called the hungry hillbilly. The hungry hillbilly. All and right. that comes ham, turkey, and bacon, cheese, mm -hmm. lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. But you just got it 
with a ham, turkey, cheese, bacon, and mustard. All right, you can take a look at it. The bacon is cooked like I like it. The ham and turkey looks... Now, we'll see how it tastes. They, I noticed they warmed it up in the microwave, which I thought was a little odd. Like, after they made the sandwich, they toasted the bread, and then they put it in the microwave and warmed it up. All right, just tried it. And... The first bite was okay. I mean, not a bad sandwich, but not anything so amazing that I'd want to come back and get it again. Since today, I decided I would try the chicken salad sandwich. This is homemade, and I got some lettuce and tomato put on it. And I'm going to show you what the, you can see the chicken salad. Let's and I read online, this is supposed to be really good. I hope so. Let's try and see how it tastes. Pretty good, actually. You like it? Mm-hmm. Got a good taste to it. And I also got me some potato salad. All right, let's see what you think of the potato salad. And this potato salad, this appears to be homemade as well. It's pretty decent. I've had a whole lot better in the past, but nothing's wrong with it. This appears to be like a mustard base, you can taste the mustard in it. You can definitely see the chunks of potatoes. It's good, but like I said, I've had it uh, better potato salad in other places. Well, Cindy, I've almost finished my chicken salad sandwich. The sandwich has been pretty tasty. Um, it's definitely homemade. You can tell that it's got nice chunks of chicken in it. And um, the sandwich has been pretty good. I have enjoyed it. I'm so glad you enjoyed your sandwich. I know you enjoyed your sandwich probably more than I enjoyed mine. Yeah. Here at the Poor Farmer's Market, they are supposed to be known for these fried apple pies. So we decided that we would try one while we were here. And this is what they look like. We decided to try one of these. Myself and Cindy will split this, so I'm going to break it in half. We'll show you what it looks like. You can see the the apples inside of it. I know my aunt used to fix these all the time. Let's see what they taste like, see if they remind me of anything of hers. That tastes good. Got a nice cinnamon taste to it. The only thing butter, if they got them when they came out the oven, got them good and hot, they would have been great. And maybe even add a little ice cream to it. You're right about that. Some vanilla ice cream and apple pie, that's all it to be. Well, Cindy, you tried that uh, apple pie. What do you think of it? David, it's really good. You know, my sandwich, I said, was average, but this is above average. This is definitely good. I like this apple pie, and I do agree. Heat it up, ice cream, then we would be talking. So the fried apple pie made up for the sandwich. That's it. And located right outside of the store park where the food is at, they have this area that you can set. They have a couple picnic tables and they have some rocking chairs. You can get your food and come out right outside and enjoy your lunch. Well, Cindy, what did you think about your visit today at the Poor Farmer's Market Country Store in Delhi? David, this is one adorable store. I loved all the items they had in it. A lot of things I haven't seen in a while. I thought the produce they had on display outside in the barrels was just beautiful. I just really enjoyed the store. Um, the deli sandwich was okay. But those apple pies were outstanding. Yeah, I would agree, Cindy. That apple pies, they definitely got it going on with that. When I pulled up, I really did like the way it looked from the outside. I loved all the fall decorations with the pumpkins, the mums, the Indian corn. And then seeing all that produce on top of the barrels, they really did have it displayed nicely. Just a, a pretty display of the items they're selling here. And when you walk inside, they have a whole lot in the side. Uh, items that you don't see everywhere. Um, definitely enjoyed my visit here today. i uh, never been to here before. I definitely would recommend stopping by if you're on the Blue Ridge Parkway. You just get off. It's just right down the street, not even a half a mile from the, the parkway. So it's very convenient if you're traveling through the Meadows of Dan. And you had mentioned about the sandwich. My sandwich, I thought the chicken salad it was pretty good. And it, that was homemade. It, it was. Mm -hmm. Potato salad, uh, 
it was so so like I said I've had a whole lot butter before um but the apple pie I think that was the star of the show today for the deli item I agree and um if you're passing through it's definitely worth the stop you get to see all kind of cool merchandise they got inside I definitely recommend stopping by looking taking a look and if you're like us we always have a cooler with us you know with water or drinks in it it'd be perfect just to stop by and get one of these apple pies oh yeah it definitely and, would and enjoy be. your ride on the parkway so anything else you'd like to add nope that's it well folks we hope that y'all enjoyed this uh video from the poor farmers market country store in delhi today here at the meadows of dan virginia if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up also if you hadn't done so already please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell that way you can keep up all the latest and greatest adventures from the va fun seekers until next time we thank you so much for watching and god bless and goodbye thank everyone bye-bye